you probably don't care but i took my mixtape off of spotify yeah my mixtape called death of the ego it was a mixtape i released back in 2020 it was my first ever full-bodied project and i haven't released a new one since <laughs> but i do got one coming so I just don't know. I had been torn for a while now if I should even take it off Spotify because my philosophy as an artist is to show my journey, all of it, the ugly parts, the great parts, the bad parts, the amazing parts. Mm -hmm. I have evolved as a person and the music I was making back then wasn't the best. It wasn't the best of what I can produce. The sound quality was ass because I was new to mixing. It was also a project I made for school so you know how that goes but bref, it just doesn't fit who I want to be as an artist from now on. So I thought to myself with uh, everything I know now would I have done things differently and the answer is no. I still would have made that project and I still would have dropped it on streaming platform but there are also some things I wish I thought about more in depth. This is not going to be a typical video where I talk about setting up DSPs or building your online presence. This is more about the mental side of being an artist which I kind of wish all those videos that I watched online prepared me for at that time. One of the biggest things I've learned on this journey is to understand and define what success means to you because success looks a little different for everyone. You have to ask yourself what you want out of your music career. Do you want to perform in front of, in front of thousands? Do you only just like writing songs? Do you only like mixing songs and not mastering them? Just, you just got to find out what you want out of this career because looking at artists like Drake and be like, oh, I want to be like Drake. You don't know how they got there. You don't know the, the, the recipe, the kind of people that they knew, the connections that they had. You kind of have to, no one knows what they're doing. This is, <laughs> okay, no one, even I don't know what I'm doing. It's kind of all made up as we go along. So you make up your own story as you go along. Grab bits and pieces and inspirations and things from other people, other artists, things that they're doing. Put it into your career and see where that takes you. So make sure you define which path you want to take and set up the systems that help you achieve that goal. Uh, and a little pro tip, try and stay away from numbered goals. I feel like numbered goals, I have done number goals, but I can tell you now, I think number goals kind of skew your vision and perception. It kind of makes it all about numbers. Don't only just focus on subscriber goals or number goals because that ain't it. You can have 10,000 monthly listeners, um, but they only listen to your music like once. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so it's kind of like uh, when you sign a contract with the devil, there will always be a contrepartie, as we say in French. So a counterpart to that or a downside to that benefit you're getting. So yeah, be, be careful. Don't, don't, number goals kind of make you impatient and make you want to cut corners to arrive at that goal faster. Nowadays, I would actually recommend focusing more on building a community and engagement. Different goals require different actions. If you want to upload cover videos and just make money and a living off of making cover videos, you're going to take different steps towards achieving your goals than you would if you wanted to, um, I don't know, become a, a, a recording artist and, and, and go on tour and stuff like that. One thing I would have done different before releasing music officially was to make as much music as possible before releasing a single song. And that's music in all different types of genres because how do you know which one suits you best or the one you like best if you haven't tried them out? Uh, you can eventually drop them on SoundCloud or anything like that, but avoid releasing on streaming platforms. Now, this doesn't mean you should hold music and let it rot away on your hard drive, right? Set yourself a realistic numbered goal. Um, before I release any type of song on Spotify, I need to make 50 songs. I feel like when you set yourself up like this, it allows you time, um, that freedom, that space to experiment with your sound and find out who and what you are as an artist without the pressure. This world is fast paced and it has a knack of making us feel like if we're not productive enough, if we're not going fast enough, then, then we're behind, we're nowhere. And this world will have you believe that it's quantity over quality. Um, but you have to find a perfect mixture of both, otherwise you won't succeed, especially in this music game, social media game, anything like that. But I do believe, and we see it time and time again, that people who really take the time to practice their craft explore their craft, experiment, hone their craft, perfect it, are the ones that create masterpieces and careers that last a long time. You've been running wild.
So the last thing I want to leave you with if you want to start working and taking this music thing seriously is that you need to start stacking up, building up on brand materials. Things like photos, videos, merch, websites, all that kind of thing. I mean, you don't have to have everything figured out, like your brand colors and all that stuff, but at least start thinking about them, start um, experimenting with some things even if you don't put it online look at the fonts you want to use because different fonts can portray different things look at the colors because there's a psychology behind colors too so these are all moving parts of a brand when someone comes to look at your page they should know okay this person likes red and black okay they're an artist and you don't have to stay fixed in these things these things can evolve and change as you go along as an artist you can build upon it you don't have to have everything perfect straight away like how someone comes and they're like oh my gosh they must be signed to a record label no you can start off with something really simple and evolve from there once you get the money more fans and stuff like that so it's up to you to decide how much work you want to put in and what you want to do but this is what i recommend you do before you start releasing music online yo hey we are at the end of the video thank you for taking time out of your busy day to watch this um i really appreciate it and you know let me know where you are on your creative journey if you're doing music maybe you're painting maybe this was helpful in other ways i think this can apply to different types of mediums but yeah man um let me know what you think down below in the comments if this video was helpful where you are on your creative journey what you're doing on your creative journey um and as always stay safe and i'll see you next time peace shalom bye I'm out here dodging people and my arms hurting because I'm trying to take my career seriously.